Hey Artland, how's it going? So growing up, I used to love the Transformers, but I wasn't a big fan of the car ones. I actually liked the Beast Transformers, the Maximals and the Predacons. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Optimus Prime, but instead of Optimus Prime, it is Optimus Primal. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with his face. So he's pretty tall, so we're going to have to draw kind of small up here. So I'm going to start at the top of my paper, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then it's going to curve back up like this. Then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that goes down, over, and up. And then same thing here, down, over, and up. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to go in, down, and in. Then I'm going to go down and over, and then just kind of go up like that. Then same thing here. I'm just going to kind of go down, over, and then up. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up. I'm just going to go down, up, and then down again. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up, over, and then down for a little detail on top of this head. And then I'm going to make a line that curves here, and then a line that curves down here. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes straight across. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down and over. Line that just goes down and over. I'm going to make a little curved line here and then a curved line here. And then he's got these like ears that stick out. So I'm going to make a line that goes up, down a little bit, and then straight down. Same thing here. Up, down a little bit at an angle, and then straight down. And then I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and then connects on each side. Now, for his body. I'm going to start here, and it's going to look a little weird. I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go really far out to here. Then, starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to go over, and then I'm just going to go back up like this. It's going to be like his body's turned a little bit at an angle. That's why we see more over here and less over here. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to go in, in an angle, down, and then over. Now, right here, we're going to draw part of the arm like it was transformed. So I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up, down, and then up a little bit. Then I'm just going to kind of curve it in and then make a big curve that comes to here. Kind of looks like a peanut shape. Then right here I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down and then another one right above it. Little line that curves up and down and then a little line that curves here. and then one that curves right to here. Then starting down here, I'm just going to make a line that goes down. It's going to go over here. Then I'll make a little line that goes down and over. And then I'll make a little line here that goes down over and then add a little curved line onto it. Now, over here, I want to add kind of like the same same thing that I did over here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve up and down. 
start here, make a line that's going to curve up and down. It's going to kind of go down and up, kind of makes that peanut shape again. Now, starting right here, I want to draw his hand. I want it to look like it's kind of, you know, raised up and like a fist. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes down at an angle. I'm going to go down on each side. Kind of curve around like this. Then I'm going to add some little rectangle square shapes right up here for like the fingers. And then right up here, I'm just going to add a little line that's going to go out and then it's going to come down. Then I'm going to add a little curved line up here. A little curved line here. And then a line that just goes down to here. Then I'm going to add a little line right there and a little one here. Then right along the edge here, I'm just going to add this little zigzag line just to kind of show where the hair is. And then right here at the elbow, I'm just going to add a little line that just kind of comes out with a little line or two going down. Now over here for the other arm, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down and then it's going to kind of curve around. A little line that goes up little curved line and then a small circle in there. Then right here I'm going to make a little kind of rectangle shape. A couple little lines in there. And then a little line is just going to kind of curve out and in. Same thing here, out and then in. His arms are pretty long because he is part gorilla. Make a little line that connects to here. Then a line that just kind of goes down. I'm going to curve around here. I'm going to make a line that's going to curve around here for a thumb. And then a line that's going to come down for his finger. And then a couple more right there. Okay. Now for the rest of his body. So starting here, I'm just going to add a little V shape. Make a line that goes down. It's going to come down here at an angle. Going to curve up and down. Then I'm going to go up and then straight up like this. Line that goes down and then over. And then I'm going to add a couple little circles in here. I'm going to put another big one right here. A little curve line here, and then a little curve line there. Now, for his legs, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, and it's going to curve up. A little circle shape right here. Then a little line that's just going to kind of curve down. I'm going to go up and down right here. And then I'm just going to draw a little line that curves down and then comes over, kind of where his knee would be. Now right here I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then it's going to go down like this. Then over here I'm going to make a line that goes out, in, and then down. I'm going to start here and I'm going to make a line that's going to go over and then it's going to go down and it's going to connect right to here. And then right here I'm going to put a little line across and then a second one. And then I'm going to make a line that goes out like this and then it's going to come across. I'm going to go up. Then I'm going to add a little line that curves down and comes back for the back of the foot. I'm 
Now over here for this leg, I'm going to draw a line that just curves down and comes back up. Little line that's just going to go down, and then I'm going to curve up and down, and then bring it back up to here. A little curve line here. A little line that curves in and then out and then back in. Then I'm going to make a little line that goes out and then in, out and then in for the little calf of the leg. Then I'm going to bring this line straight down and then this one straight down. Make a little line that's going to go up, over, and then down. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that goes out. It's going to come down. It's going to go across and curve up. Go over and come back. Then I'm just going to add two little lines going across. Okay, so we have our basic shape of Optimus Primal down with a little bit of details. Now we just want to go in and add the rest of the details. And I'm going to move a little bit faster through this part. So if I go too fast, just kind of slow it down so you can catch it up. So over here on the legs, I'm just going to add some little curved lines right around here. And then a couple little ones right here. I'm going to add another curved one right there. A little curve line right here and a little curve line right there. Extra little curve line here and then an extra little curve line there. Line that just goes down and curves around. One that goes over and down. Two lines that just go down here. And then a line that curves across here. A little circle shape here. I'm going to make a little line that goes down and over like a rectangle and two little lines underneath it. Same thing over here, rectangle with two little lines. I'm going to add a little line that's going to curve up and come back and then another one right here for some toes. And I'm just going to draw some little lines that go across and just a couple extra lines in here for some details. Make some lines that come right up to here little line that goes up and down right there. Now up here at the arm I'm going to draw a little line that goes across and then a line that goes down. Then a line that's going to go down, kind of curve over and come down. This one's going to have a line that goes up, kind of curves out and comes back. Now up here on the body we want to add like kind of like where the face of the animal would have kind of come down here. So we're just going to kind of see the back of it. So I'm just going to draw a little line that goes down, over, and then up. I'm going to make a line that goes out on each side. I'm going to go down on each side. Come in at an angle and then just connect it straight across. Then I'm just going to go all the way down to here. Little line that goes out, down, and in. Out, down, and in. Same thing on both sides. Going to add a small circle shape in the center here. Then I'm just going to draw a line that goes out and down. Same thing over here, out and down. We're going to go down and connect it down and connect it. Little kind of trapezoid shape here and then a little tall rectangle shape right there. I'm going to put a few little diagonal lines on each side of this. Little circle shape in here. Little rectangle shape right there. Two little lines coming in. I'm going to kind of trace the shape of this in here. Put a couple little lines. 
little line right down here, same thing over here. And I'm just going to put two extra little lines right up there. And then right here I'm going to draw a line that goes down, over, and then in. Draw a couple little lines out here and then just connect them. Just so we can kind of see a little three-dimensional look. And there you go. There is your drawing of Optimus Primal from the Transformers of the Maximals and the Predacons. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.